Get on Beybladers, Blade VX here. I know what you're thinking, Hasbro Stadium reviews have been done already. True, but not like this they haven't. I've spent the last year and a half since Beyblade X's release competing at every official and large Takara Tomi tournament I possibly could, gaining hours of experience as well as some decent results, all so I could share them with you in the hopes to help you grow as a competitive blader. And now I am stoked that I will also be able to give much more accurate advice to bladers finding themselves competing in the Hasbro Extreme Stadium. The start of this video is my first and only 10 minutes with the stadium before competing my first ever Hasbro only stadium tournament. Please enjoy. Okay, so this is a pretty terrible angle, but it's the best I can do at the moment. A uh, little bit of Lego in the background, been building a lot of uh, Lego Mario for my kid. All right, first of all, so we are feeling like the tournament is just gonna be one of these on top of a table. So let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna get out my PW on taper and we'll just see if we can hit some technical launches quickly. Actually, before we get technical, let's just see what happens if we flat launch in the middle. Okay, okay, yeah, so I see what's going on with these oval pockets now. They're not skinny like uh, the TT ones. It's like a wide basin for you to just drop into. So yeah, good luck escaping those. And that's a shame, like, that's part of the fun of the whole uh, the system is jumping out of the pockets, but I don't see that happening with this. All right, and oh, that's actually something. How small the hole, like now I'm above it looking at it, how small this hole in here is. Like getting some technical shots to get to the rail and do like your reverse X's and stuff, like you're a fucking mile away, like dropping down here. God damn. All right, interesting. Let's see what we can do. Three, two, one, go shoot. Okay, reduce power massively. That wasn't very smooth. Let's try again. Good shoot. Ooh, okay. Ooh, this lip. Sorry, just hitting it then. This lip seems a, a bit more defined uh, than in the TT Stadium here. Um, I guess because it's skinnier, uh, the actual stadium's deeper, so it can't be as shallow. So if it's deeper, this Little lip here has to be a uh, pretty, pretty hench. Okay, finding out some things here. Go shoot. Move this chair out of the way. I'm wondering if to hit reverse X's is actually better to hit from up here and launch. It seems counterintuitive, but to launch down towards the pockets. Go shoot. Obviously, fucking not. All right. This is uh, blowing my mind, not gonna lie. All right, go shoot. All right, we hit a reverse X there, but it doesn't look all that favorable still. Um, the movement pattern afterwards is gross and we're not utilize, sorry, utilizing the extreme line. All right, I'm on the X side. Let's see if we can hit something like a slingshot quickly. Go shoot, kind of, I mean, it's the angles. Kind of going into a more healthy pattern. I can't hit anything. Okay, that's a decent slingshot, I guess, for this. Um, but I don't know how opponents' bays are going to drop into the middle and stuff at all. Um, see if we can hit the pendulum from here quickly. Good shoot. Okay, we get up top. Let's try that again. Good shoot. That was a very small pendulum, that was bullshit. But maybe that's what we do. Slingshots and pendulums like usual from the X side. I'm not too confident in this uh, reverse X. I don't think it's the way for this Hasbro Stadium. I mean, maybe if you just do the boring way of like hitting down hard and like tilting so that it... No, 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 we're not doing that. Oh my God. How skinny this extreme pocket is. That's wild. Is that their way of mitigating attack types? They bounce out of the extreme pocket more. I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense. All right, let's spin it around. I'm not gonna get too much time in this before the tournament, but uh, yeah, let's try a couple launches from the B side. So from the B side, will we be able to hit parries? Will there be any point? Cause it feels like a long way to shoot up from here. Um, 
And one thing I'm actually really apprehensive about with this tournament is what are their fucking launching rules going to be? Are they going to be like, oh, if it hits each other within the first half a second or something, then it doesn't count. Or if something is in there for ages, doesn't make contact and goes out, are they going to redo it or give one? For I don't. Honestly, I'm going in completely green. I'm just going to not be a dick. Not going to be like, oh, that's how we do it in a TT tournament. Or that's not how we do it in official tournaments. Just gonna go there, have fun. It's super fucking casual. I'm taking a friend of mine who doesn't play any Beyblade at all. So yeah, it's gonna be a chill one. All right, what else can we hit from this side? Can we do a long reverse X from this side? Go shoot. Straight into the fucking pocket. You are not coming out of these, that sucks. That fucking sucks. That's such a boring fucking mechanic. Like just, boom, dead. Like there's a lot of fun ones. Like it breaks your heart when you've KO'd something and it jumps back up but it is way more exciting for gameplay. That's a big L in my opinion, these pockets. Um, going around here, this is such a harsh angle here. There's no curve to it. It's very hard to sweep around and do like a nice launch that. Uh, yeah, we ain't, we're not gonna be reverse Xing from this side. Like this is way too sharp of an angle. God, that sucks ass. I mean, I'm saying it sucks ass now. There will be launches that you can do in here. I just, I'm not seeing them quite yet. Um, but I think from the B side, we're gonna be sniping and we're gonna be parrying, hopefully getting some deflections towards the pockets. And I mean, probably not utilizing the X line too much. It seems counterintuitive. Um, maybe attack types aren't the one in here. Uh, let me just see how well. Uh, some of these bays, so rod on dot. Pretty regular movement, let's launch wing against it and see what happens. Yeah, especially if uh, they're not um, stable, the stadiums, they're gonna shake a lot, so I think attack types are gonna suffer uh, from that a little bit, um, to be honest because I don't think they're gonna be able to catch the X-Rail very reliably. Let's, uh, low flat, well on low flat. Let's just launch it and see uh, how it behaves. That might be fun. That might be some fun. But there's like, if we go slightly harder, all right, low flats behaving cool in there. That's cool, all right. Let's see how TB on rush is going. Absolutely mad. Doesn't seem happy whatsoever. Okay. And let's do it. Let's get Jagoon on elevate in there, see how it behaves. Go shoot. I don't know if even though this is killing everything else, will it be a good choice in this stadium? It's mad how much difference the stadium actually really makes. Let me just go grab my bucket. It doesn't seem like a huge difference actually in surface area in the middle. Of course, the, um, the, has, the extreme stadium, sorry, is a bit bigger, a bit wider. It's not a huge difference. Um, it's, it's the uh, access from this shroud that I think is gonna play the big, well, two things actually, sorry, I think is gonna play the biggest difference in launching. The tiny, tiny opening in this shroud and the sharp angles here on the accelerator rail. Um, I think this is uh, for launching anyway. I'm gonna have to change up a lot of stuff. Uh, we're gonna be going a lot more central. Um, not gonna be as easy to hide in corners because there's no space to hide. And it, I think it's quite risky because if you're stalling, you take a big hit up here, you're probably gonna shoot real fast. And these overfinished pockets are no joke. You, you're not getting back out of there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna think about that and we'll see what my deck ends up being for the tournament. Catch you in a minute. I headed to the venue, which is called the Venue Plymouth. I already knew this store and this community because of playing Magic the Gathering throughout the years. But if you're ever in Plymouth, please check them out. They are an awesome and very warm and welcoming bunch of people. 
I was joined by my mate, who you may recognize in the chat as Gibbs Mate, who kindly jumped on cameraman duties for the evening. And what was really cool was to see that they had made a couple of awesome stands to play in. They're a little bit taller than what I'm used to here in Asia, but they are still very, very cool and much more than what I'm seeing in most tournament footage from the West. So after ripping a few launches and giving a little bit of Beyblading advice to some new players, it was time for match one of the tournament. Both your opponents. Any combos. Top oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Spicy glide. All right. They're happy with. They know what you've yeah. got. You're happy. Cool. You, basically, everyone knows. Good clean match. No eye gouging. No spitting. No biting. Only a little bit of kissing. Hey, come on. I, I like a little bit of the nipple. Loads only. But not on the face. Yeah. Right. Um. Full line up. Yeah, you've done that, selected order. Yeah. Two, one, go, shoot. So it goes on that. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, dot scrapes loads in this stadium. That's insane. Yeah, you got this. One, go, Oh no, okay, cool. That came with the black shell boosters. Yeah. Rush, okay. Yep. GG. Thank you very much. You roll then, it'll be. 15. Um, I'll go on that side if that's cool, please, dude. <laughs> Here is my deck, sir. Oh, I finally get to see a raw. Nice. That's cool. Very cool. Very cool. This is what I would do as well if I could have two uh, phoenixes in it. <laughs> Feeling good. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I thought you meant this. Go for it. Oh. I just want to probably run it up anyway so you go. Um, What's this? So we've been doing it. Uh, yes, it's not Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Yeah. Oh. Nice. I'm not coming out of there. He just like, threw himself in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He's still waiting for Bruno's decision, so you know. Uh, so <laughs> Wear this. Three, two, the one, go. Basically, had an idea in first, in X, they've kind of gone. He's actually happy. We're spin finished it. Yep. Do you on zero two? Three, two, one, Stop go. Oh. Ready. Oh. One and nine. Yeah, right. Oh. Uh, it's just relaunched on the same one, yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah just because, yeah. Three, just two, that was a one. Fail. Three, two, one, go. And seven. Oh, wow. big, big numbers. Eight. Would you like to go? Um, it's fine for me. Sure. It's free piercing, man. Oh, yeah, see. There's my base, dude. This one reminds me of someone. Uh, yes, to... Yeah. Don't call my fucking Beyblades bass base, man. Come on. Let's be friends. Uh, that's a wizard. <laughs> uh, yeah, the um, black shell and black, yeah, all black shells. So a five, a little bit tall. Six. Are we ready to start? First base, present. Blade is ready. Three, two, one, go, shoot. Nice. Perfect. Two points, two rips. We have 
Take for 380. <laughs> okay. Ladies ready? Yep. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> One, go, shoot. Oh, shit. Thanks, Amazon Basics. Okay. Perfect. Mine's already packed. Ladies, ready? Yep. yep. Three, two, one, go, shoot. What bit have you got? Uh, dot. GG did. Thank you. Join you. Oh, you're on flat, aren't you? Okay, three, two, one, go. Shoot. Oh, Thank you. Eight. Oh, can you beat him? Yeah. No, I can't. Where would you like to go, sir? There's some Beyblades, sir. Huh? <laughs> nice. Ooh, high taper. Fancy. Very fancy. Get some side section. Alright. Alright. He likes red. Oh no! <laughs> Literally went from 1 p.m. shipping to I'll get here at 8 o'clock. <laughs> like, okay, okay, okay. yeah, I'm going from that way. Cool. I'm going to go from this side. Back. Cool. Yay! The stamina. Back. <laughs> I just lose. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Yes, and that was Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's been finished for you, I think. High roll again? Yep. 12, so. 16. Where do you want to go? Um, I'm fine right here. Cool. Mm, I've got the same deck as earlier, so. That's alright, someone will come. Someone will come. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. You happy with these? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> nothing's changed. Do we need. You okay to judge, dude? <laughs> as long as this, someone telling us to go shoot, we'll figure it out after. Ah, this is familiar. This is the exact same lineup as last time, I think. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, death. Okay. 
they're quite similar. Yeah. Why do you do that when it has to pull? Uh, because sometimes the string gets uh, knotted up, yeah. Oh, it's got like an LED in it. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah. You got the best. Nice, dude. Here's my toys for today. As we have seen, they're weirdly, they're weirdly working. <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch up my order a little bit. This one is going to be my downfall. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go rod. Okay. Needle battle. Are we ready? Yes. Get on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I am scraping like mad. I am scraping even more. I'm scraping even worse. <laughs> it's not getting any better anytime soon. All right, spin finish for you, I think so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go, shoot. <laughs> 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 yeah, there we go. This does seem to be the thing with the turtles. If it does hit straight away, then it might be. Might win. But if it doesn't get to it straight away, nah. Are we ready? Yep. yep. Three, two, one, go, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. I did not put any <laughs> no, that, was, that was a missed launch. We could redo really that. <laughs> I'm just going to take a picture of it. Yeah. Yep. Three, two, one, go shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they do the. Straight in the <laughs> did you did? Uh, yeah, well, so the scores will be settled. Very <laughs> good, dude. All right. Very nice. Uh, he's he's messing with my head. Mind games have begun already, have they? All right. Sorry, should I just call it for us? Casual. Ready? Suit you. One. Go. Shoot. Oh, this before people leave. Wee, uh, two, my dude. Yep. All right, now he's got the shark out, has he? Now he's going to try and shark me. All right. Three, two, one, go shoot. You keep dodging it. Yeah. Uh, if I don't, you hit me. <laughs> Spin finish. Alright, so bay number three. Down again. Yeah. Alright, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go shoot. <laughs> I knew I was gonna fucking swing around. <laughs> Alright, three each. Yeah. Wait, no, but there's no contact. Oh, fair enough, yeah. Alright, reshoot. You could have yeah. could have said not said anything then, I wouldn't yeah. even realise, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That is. Three, two, one, go shoot. Thank you, dude. Good fun. Get on, Beybladers. It is the day after my first uh, UK um, tournament in the Hasbro Extreme Stadiums, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, the venue, um, 
it's not the venue is called the venue is the name of the store it was held at um, really really cool vibe there really happy to be part of one of their first tournaments um, in like my home city really cool to be part of that and pulling out a win is really cool as well that's always nice to do um, but really cool shop definitely check them out if you're in the area um, experience in the Hasbro Stadium um, after a little bit of testing and um, my first tournament, so I got what like eight, nine um, like competitive uh, games in, which was uh, awesome, good for testing. I ran essentially my TT deck um, at the moment. I didn't use Dragoon as you saw, um, but it was essentially my TT deck to see how that would perform. If I was building specifically for the Hasbro Stadium, that is not the deck I would build. Um, it seems that you really need to be playing probably more defensive builds, um, probably using bits like Orb. Um, Orb and Ball probably would do good, but using more defensive blades um, for counter-attacking more than anything because initial launch, like that first moment you hit the stadium is your only real opportunity to pull off anything technical it seems to me at the moment because of the deepness of the dish, the how small the um, shroud like uh, entry kind of like hole is, that sounds awful, pause, and then also um, with the uh, depth of the pockets for over finishing you're probably never going to have to like entertain using something like 160 ratchets or um, tactics for jumping out of the pocket like completely unnecessary um, I think you should be looking to build combos that can win by spin or over finish um, of course there will still be bursts and stuff so it's going to be hard to just build with bits like orb and stuff but I think the Hasbro Stadium makes the 80 height stuff probably more relatable i need to do a lot more testing i need i need to do a lot more battles in there but um i'm not just going to be playing it while i'm here oh sorry playing with the hasbro stadium while i'm here in england i'll be taking it back uh back home with me and nash and i will definitely be getting battles i might host some tournaments i really want to host a bucket tournament but yeah so initial thoughts on the hasbro stadium are it's cool, but it's a different game. I know that sounds dramatic, but it's very different to how I would approach the, uh, the TT Stadium and what I would build for in that. So yeah, um, I'll keep you updated with my uh, experience with uh, Hasbro Stadium. Uh, thanks for watching, peace.